What's up guys, Nick with a brand new unboxing video. Game that's been out, I don't know, when when did this one come out? 2009, at least this edition of it. I think the original came out like 2006, 2007. Doesn't say. Anyway, I'm going to be unboxing Fallout 3, the Game of the Year edition. GameStop exclusive content. Um, they had a sealed copy of it, bought it brand new for like 15 bucks, so why not? Platinum Sellers, uh... Includes Operation Anchorage, The Pit, Broken Steel, Point Lookout, Mothership Zeta. The bonus content is Capital Wasteland Map and Faces of the Vault Boys poster. Oh, there's a poster in here. No wonder why it seems a little heavy. Alright. Look on the front. It just has those little those dudes on the front. I don't know who they are. Um, prepare for the future. With Fallout Game of the Year Edition, experience the most acclaimed game of 2008. Okay, 2008. So a year later, it comes out with this one. Like never before, create a character of your choosing and descend into the awe-inspiring post-apocalyptic world where every minute is a fight for survival. Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition includes five of the Fallout 3 game... What? All five of the Fallout 3 Game Edition packs. Okay. Operation Anchorage. Enter a military simulation of fights in the liberation of the Anchorage of Anchorage, Alaska from the from its Chinese communist invaders. So it's a simulation. That's nice. The pit. Travel to the post apocalyptic remains of Pittsburgh and become embroiled embroiled in a conflict between slaves and their raider masters. Nice. Uh, broken steel. Increase your level cap to thirty at, to finish the fight against the Enclave Remnants along Liberty Prime. There's a lot of stuff on this box. <laughs> Not even, I'm like halfway done with it. Point Lookout. Embark on a mysterious and open-ended adventure in, in a huge murky swamp like swampland along the coast of Maryland. Maryland, whatever. Mothership Zeta. Defy hostile... Defy hostile aliens of abductors, and fight your way in the mothership uh, orbiting miles above the capital wasteland. Which, I want you to let's play this from Roshank Redemption. That's probably one of the reasons why I bought this. And plus, I played it before. Didn't have all the DLC the last time I played it. Anyway. The power of choice. Are you good or evil? Talk out your problems, or just flash your plasma rifle. Was this Halo? Blast them away with vats. Rain, death, and destruction are all new cinematic combat presen presentation. Limitless freedom. Visit towns, battle through DC, or explore the wasteland in third or first or third person perspective. Let's say perspective. Okay, it is rated uh, M for mature. Blood and gore, intense violence, sexual themes, strong language, and use of drugs. I'm probably going to have to download the game in order for it to run completely well. Uh, one player, uh, 8 megabytes of saved data, 720p to 1080p. Uh, a hard drive is required, which I do have one. Game content download, all that stuff. Alright, just look at the back. Has all the stuff I just named off. Just doing this so y'all can read it and. All right, let's open it up. A um, little bit of news. Um, there will not be Pokemon Soul Silver today for the Pokemon Tri Town. It'll be tomorrow. I think we're, we're going to be doing more stuff today. So it's pretty much I'm getting this out there, and we'll probably do more stuff later. So, um, so it's going to come out at the same time as Mother Three. So stay tuned for that. Uh, did I get all the plastic up with that? Oh, we're not, yep. okay. I tried to play Fallout New Vegas and. I, I don't know what it is about New Vegas compared to this one. Oh, it does come with... Comes with a couple, uh, products. I think one is a map. Yeah. Nice. It's a map of Capital Wasteland. And a DC Metro interior. That's... That's pretty sweet. Put that back up. There's a lot more stuff in here. And the Pit Boy stuff. It's just all the different animations, I guess. 
Yeah, it's the Pip Boys different animation stuff. I'll probably put these up somewhere. Probably not in the background here. Because there's there's oh there's there's an empty spot up there. Hmm. Put it right around here. I think I yeah I can fit. Alrighty. Oh, it's two discs. Disc two is probably the DLC or something. Here's the survival guide, which I don't know why they call it that. But it's just the layout of the controller. Which you learn that when you start playing the game. Alright, it is a two disc one. More than likely, all the DLC had to be put on that separate disc. I think the original, uh, yeah, the original Oblivion was that way. It was a two disc game. And then forward through all, through all the DLCs. Or is it the other way around? No, I think it was one. I can tell you all that right now. I actually want it. Two discs. Game Gear Edition for that is two discs. Alright, so here's the discs. Got the first disc, which is basically the original. And then we have the second disc, which is like one of the loading screens. Something like that. So, yeah. Um, stay tuned for Let's Plays tomorrow. Um, everything else should be on track next week. Except for Fridays, I think. No, I'll be able to do. I'll be able to do uh, Soul Silver on time. Also, don't go anywhere because I work that night for like eight hours. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you next time. Peace.